Art. Time. Art time. Thumb. Nail. Thumbnail. Brain. Storm. It's art time! With Mr. Mayberry. Let's get busy! Welcome to Art Time with Mr. Mayberry. Today we're going to be starting the process of drawing what I like to call crazy compounds. We're going to be brainstorming ideas to draw thumbnail sketches of compound words. Let's first start by talking about what a compound word is. A compound word is a word made up of two separate words that you put together to make a new word that has a new meaning. Let me give you an idea of what I'm talking about. Uh, let's take the word housefly. It's actually made up of two separate words, house and fly. Now, I could draw a picture of a house, and it might look something like this. Or, and I could also draw a picture of a fly that would look something possibly like this. But that's not what I want to do. I don't want to draw two separate pictures. I only want to draw one picture that represents the new word, the new meaning of the new word. And so what we're going to do is put those two words together, those two pictures together, and we come up with house fly. And so here you have a picture of a house that has wings and the eyes of a fly. So it has there's elements from both drawings in this picture. So this is the kind of thing we're doing when we're making a crazy compound. We're taking two separate ideas that we would draw pictures of separately, but we're merging them together into one picture that has elements of both words and both pictures. So that's, that's the process of making a crazy compound. Um, next, what we're going to be doing is, is taking those compounds and we're making thumbnail sketches of them. Now, we did this a while back when we made inventions. We brainstormed ideas, came up with a bunch of ideas, and, and made thumbnail sketches of inventions. Well, this is the same type of thing, except today we're doing the compound words, the crazy compounds. So, what I've got here is a, a page of where I've started. I've got three thumbnail sketches, and these are the same words that you see in the opening for this uh, video. But the thumbnail sketch is a drawing that's about the size of your thumb. These are a little bit larger. Um, you can make them a little smaller. If you make them smaller, you can fit more on the page. But I decided to make them about this size. Um, and so on this page, I could probably fit about 12 of them. Um, I want to look at them up close and let you, let you see them, talk about them just a little bit. Uh, the first one is, is art time, which is actually, it's two separate words. It's not really one word. Uh, so it's not exactly a compound word. It might qualify, but I just thought it would be fun to do because that's the name of this program. Um, so what I did was I took a palette to represent art. That's what the painters use. And then I took a clock to represent time. And I put those together so I have a clock sh that's shaped like a palette. And so that's art time. Next I have thumbnail. We're talking about thumbnail sketches today. And so th I took a... This is a nail that looks like a thumb and there's a hammer that looks like it's it's hitting the nail in the thumb into the wood there so that's a that's a thumbnail uh, and then third I had a brainstorm brainstorming is when you come up with as many ideas as you possibly can at one time and so that's what we're doing here uh, when we draw all these drawings we're brainstorming but in this case with the compound word you have a brain that looks kind of like a cloud it has lightning and rain coming out of it. So that's a brainstorm. So that, that's the compound word there turned into a picture. And so what we're going to do is we're going to try to come up with as many ideas like this as you possibly can and put them down on one piece of paper, one piece of copy paper. And then hold on to this paper and we'll use this next time for what we're going to do then. Um, a good place that you can look for these, if you go on the internet, you can do a search that says list of compound words and you can find loads of compound words. Uh, that's one place, one source. Also, I have a YouTube channel that's called Crazy Compounds, and it's a challenge channel where you're challenged to draw a crazy compound like what I'm talking about today in 60 seconds or less. And so there's several on there that you could look at, and maybe that would give you ideas of words, compound words that you could use to draw your picture. So now you know what to do, and that's a start. Take a little time, and let's make a little art. See you later. Hi, bye. Brain. 
freeze. Rain freeze.